We turn today to Daniel chapter 10, where Daniel is going to have a vision about something that's going to take place once again. And part of what's interesting about chapter 10, if you read the whole chapter, is you hear a little bit about the battle that takes place in the heavenly or the spiritual spiritual realm. Uh, Gabriel, who is a very important angel, who is present in the book of Daniel, who we hear about also in the birth story of Jesus, uh, he is interacting with Daniel. And we also meet another archangel, Michael, who we find out was delayed in coming because he was opposed by an angel related to Persia. And this kind of heavenly struggle and battle between spiritual forces is something that the Apostle Paul will allude to in the sixth chapter of Ephesians, where he says that our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with spiritual powers in the heavenly places. Uh, Paul is drawing on this sort of tradition that we see here in the book of Daniel. The verse of the day is verse 12, and this is where uh, Daniel is being spoken to. He said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before God, your words have been heard, and I have come because of your words. This verse tells us, I think, three things we can take note of today. First, You have, as we so often have when a divine messenger appears to a human being, those words of comfort, do not fear or do not be afraid. And so often, because the presence of a divine messenger would be so unnerving and so surprising and shocking that people's heart rates would go up and their blood pressure would increase, that it's natural for an angel to say this. And we hear this at even... The, the resurrection of Jesus, right? The first words of the angel, do not be afraid. He's not here. He's risen. So do not fear. The second thing is that Daniel sets his mind to gain understanding. You know, it's very hard for a closed or a set mind to learn anything new or to gain any new understanding. And one of the challenges in life, the older we get, is continuing to be receptive to continuing to learn and to new ideas and not becoming, having a mind that's like set concrete, that once it's set, it never changes and it doesn't move, it doesn't shift, it can't learn. So Daniel set his mind to gain understanding, not to just hold an opinion for the rest of his life. And God revealed understanding to him because of the third thing we read, because he humbled himself. We only learn and grow when we're humble enough and open enough and receptive enough to learn something new. Daniel is humble and he's determined to grow and gain an understanding. And because of that, the angel Michael comes to him. Because of that, he continues to learn and grow as a servant of God. So can you and I.